everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a video uh, kind of on a sad note because we're going through such a dramatic time. Normally I would be doing a special effects video or I might be doing like a little scripted type video where I'm shooting like a little mini movie which I thought about doing but let's get real with everything going on right now I, <sighs> there's more things to worry about than doing special effects videos. So with that said, I just wanted to hop on here today and just tell you my experience. I live in Redondo Beach, Torrance, South Bay, California. So I'm in the South Bay. Um, we are one of the metropolitan cities that have been in severe lockdown. Not as severe as New York, clearly. I'm not trying to get on the California bandwagon that I always call it because California loves to get on that. Like they gotta jump on just like 9-11. No matter what it is, they gotta be show attention. I'm not trying to be that, not trying to go there. Um, but we are on lockdown and we did get the um, alert on the phones the other day saying like stay away from the beaches, don't go out or whatever because everybody and their brother just keeps going out. Like for real? Okay, so a lot of you and a lot of people that are on my Facebook page have mixed conflictions about all this and the COVID-19, coronavirus, China virus, Chinese virus, whatever you want to call it. Um, some people are like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just the flu. Other people are like scared out of their mind. I know so many people that are hyped and scared. And, you know, I work with a doctor that hypes everybody up that we're all going to get it. Like we're all going to get it. So if we're all going to get it, then why are we wearing the mask? Now, I, um, obviously you're still exposed with your clothes, your hair, your eyes and everything. So even if you have a mask, doesn't really matter. You're still going to get exposed because you could still touch a surface, surface, sorry, <laughs> and touch your eye. So common sense says mask only prevents a little bit, but it's not 100% effective and that has actually been proven. And save it for the people that are in the front lines, the people that are there with the people that are going into the hospital. Why the hell are we like running to wear masks? You know what I mean? Just wash your hands be consciously aware, stay your uh, distance away from people and stay the hell in. Now, you know, a lot of people on my Facebook page have been bitching about the stimulus check that they're gonna get and bitching about Trump. Like everybody knows that I am a Trump supporter, but I am not one of those Trump supporters that gotta push my agenda like everywhere, like a typical Democrat, like a typical lip, lip tart. Um, I don't like to get involved with the politics, but enough is enough. And kind of like what I stated on my Facebook page, like at the end of the day, you're going to get the check and you're going to cash that motherfucker check. And let me tell you something. When we got the check with Bush after 9-11, I think that was what, $300? Okay. When we got the check with Obama when they bailed out the uh, Wall Street, okay, that was like $600 maybe. Y'all never got like 1200 and for all those that have multi-kids and have a fucking minivan, you're going to get the $3,400 check, okay? You're going to get the bigger deal. So, the little guy, the single person that has no children, okay, he's going to get 1200 and deal with it. However, <laughs> we've never gotten checks like that. We've never gotten them so quick. Nothing like this has ever happened before where the government stepped in and is taking like more control. People are blaming Trump that he's killing people because he's not doing enough and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, he was the one that shut down the airlines from China, closed the border into that and everybody called him a bigot. Everybody called him a racist. What else? Because you have nothing better to do, nor do you understand the meaning behind a bigot is or a racist. Clearly, everybody's pretty much ignorant <laughs> to know that you shut the border to prevent this spread that we knew was coming. And of course, if you go back, and this is what I posted on my page the other day, how shocking it was that New York talked about this on February 2nd, told everybody to go out and mingle. And de Blasio went out running around talking about it on March 11th, that it was no big deal. We're March 20, what are we today? 29th? We're in a major pandemic. That was like two weeks ago. Like for real, for real. I love New York to death, but I also, the flip side of the coin, think that they are so 
fucking ignorant. It is like stupid. Like, and and no to no fault of their own because they're run by a Democrat. <laughs> that is probably why. They tell you to go out, mingle along, and then you got Kumo, who I like, but he whines. And then he's bitching about the ventilators, but he's got them in storage, and we'll use them when we need them. But you want 40000 more. I don't get the rationale behind this. We're getting them to you. Nobody has ever done this before. So I, I know I'm doing my little rant. I know I'm doing my little, you know, thing, and I, I don't want to come on here to do that. Um, I'm not trying to, like push my side and push my uh, Trump stance forward, but we have to look at the big picture, guys. Like, the government is really taking care of us and everybody is just whining and complaining. I don't know what happened in America where everybody grew a vagina, where every man has no balls, where everybody is just so, oh my God, I'm offended by everything. Like, for real? For real. The virus came from China. <laughs> okay? If a virus comes from Africa, it comes from Africa. That doesn't mean that you're a racist. Now, if you want to know what a true racist is, you could just say those negative derogatory terms, and that would be a racist. But nobody ever said that. It comes from China. <laughs> That's not being racist at all. Okay, so if a virus comes from Texas, is that going to be a racist? No, highly doubt it. Okay, so get with the program, people. Wake the fuck up. Open your eyes. Stop your whining. Get your fucking dicks back. Get your balls back. And stop with the vagina because there's not enough maxi pads in this world to take care of y'all asses. So with that said, um, what's going on with my lockdown? I'm still working. Okay. I work in a laboratory, um, so I, I, I am still working because we're considered an essential job, even though uh, most of the dental offices have closed um, and the specimens are coming in trickling. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be consistently working every day. Um, that may like go down only be a couple days a week or it may be every day, which is good. Um, but I am still working because after all, we are a laboratory. We do biopsies to find out if you have cancer in your mouth. Okay, so I work in a laboratory. So obviously that's an essential job. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I have no life anyways, other than going to work, coming home. I have my clients that I work for. Um, make some YouTube videos, have my kitty cat. So I'm not out and about. I may go to the store. I have to go to the botanic. I have to pick up stuff I need, but I'm not hanging out in crowds. So I, you know, pretty much you're quarantined, you stay in. And I do that most of the time anyways, I social distance, that's my life. And actually I prefer it that way. Um, as far as like toilet paper, let me show you what I got as far as like toilet paper. So I have one roll here. I've got one of these and then I managed to get one of these, which this will probably do me pretty good. This is a pretty big, um, where are we at here? <laughs> Can't, I don't even know. Okay, yeah, so I got this, and then the rest of it is like what I scrounge up from like CVS, this kind of stuff, tissue. So I got that, and I am now gonna walk you to my kitchen so I can show you what I have in my pantry. Let me get a light on. Not the best lighting in the world. So, I've stacked up right when they shut down LA <clears throat> on Phoenix's food for his urinary because he gets crystals in his kidneys and I know PetSmart was closing down and I guess now they're doing roadside. I've got bottles of water, but this is for the hummingbirds because it's spring water and I've got food for the stray cats. I managed to get this coffee at CVS, which now you can you can get at the grocery store. It's calmed down. People aren't so nuts. And I've got some soup and I've got some, what do you call it? Sweet potatoes and stuff like that. Let me see. Uh, crackers. And I got my sugar <laughs> and my stuff for my <clears throat> spell stuff. So, you know, I'm pretty stacked with that. Um, and of course, I have to show you this. 
tequila. <laughs> I do have my tequila and I have my margarita mix. So yeah, so that's my quarantine and that is my life at the moment. Let me get back to my chair. So yeah, so that's that's where we are. That's where I am. Um, do I think that it's gonna go past the um, uh, Easter, you know, the quarantine that Trump wants to like maybe lift certain states and everybody's all frantic that oh, he's killing and blah, blah, blah. I swear to God, I swear to God. This has never made me more want to wear my Trump stuff, my gear, more now than ever. <laughs> Just one, I am 100% supportive of America. We're all in this together. It doesn't matter what color you are, what nationality you are, what language you speak. We're all in this freaking together. And <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of the haters, but this has brought out the whole, like, I'm proud to be a fucking American. Just like 9-11 when that happened. You really bring the people together. And of course I was in New York again. Because New York is like, it's a good place to hit. If you're going to hit anything, it's a good place. Because it's a it's like the city of financial. It's the city of everything. Um, but you know what? <sighs> this has really brought things out in me. So much so that I ordered um, a shit out of Trump shirts this week. I ordered a Trump hat for Phoenix. I ordered a Trump shirt for Phoenix because we're going to have a Trump photo shoot with our Trump gear on, of course. And uh, yeah, I am not afraid to freaking wear it. And I know I'm in California and people are going to be hating on me. I don't give a shit. People need to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and look at the big picture. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out. And if you don't like it, send back your fucking checks, bitch. With that said, <laughs> I'm gonna sign off. Phoenix is coming to say hello. Really? Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. <laughs> the wolves are out. Here's my Phoenix. Say hi. Next time you're going to see us, we're going to be in our Trump gear. I'm going to have my Trump shirt. He's going to have his little Trump shirt on. And he's going to be like, yeah, yeah. I support the red. Red, white, and blue. Mwah. Even though he's Persian, he speaks Farsi. He's a Trumper. Okay? He's a Trumper. Ain't that right? Say bye. He's like, just put me down, mama. He got his little bath today. And because uh, he's been really itchy around his ears. So he got his second bath this week. But with that said, I'm going to sign out because he's like, ah, I just want to be down. I want my treats. I don't want to be bugged. <laughs> with that said, guys, I'm going to sign out. I love you all. Please, please, please stay safe. You all are in my prayers, everybody. You know, no hate here. I know you think that I'm like, come on here, and I just came on to complain, but the reality is, no. Each of my clients I have lit a candle for. Each of my clients that I personally work with, I've, you know, said a prayer for, and physically lit, lit a candle for prosperity and for good health, and I, stay safe, all right? Stay indoors, follow the rules, distance, wash your hands, sanitize and just be aware so we can get through this and get life back and get back to work where we need to be where the money is i mean hello can't be sitting at home all the time we all get through this we all will i love you all so much from the bottom of my heart thank you so much to all those that are subscribed if you watch this video and you like this video go ahead smash the subscribe button down below like this video i'm gonna miss it a finger because I was scrubbing with bleach in my shower this whole weekend. What do you do when you're home? You scrub, you clean, which I do anyways because I'm OCD, but do it even more now. With that said, guys, like, comment down below, share the fuck out of this video, and if you like this video, subscribe! Alrighty, until the next time, guys, I love you so much. Stay safe and peace!